Yes, how are you? Welcome to another one here on Truth and Love with Jay. So I put up a post over there and I saw some of your comments. You were furious and all those things, you know. So, yes, we are talking about the prophecy that Joel gave where he said that we're going to experience more documentaries even worse than the one that uh, involved T.B. Joshua. Let's listen. This position happening. Don't join them to what? Comment. Remember, I told you these things by the word of the Lord. And the year is, is, the year is going exactly how the Lord told us. He said it's going to be, in fact, in April it will increase. Terrible in April. And I've been sounding his alarm since last year. So you heard him. He said that in the month of April we're going to be seeing more scandal. It's going to be terrible, like worse than the TV Joshua documentary that came out. Well, um... Uh, the Bible says that we should judge prophecies, you know. So as we get into the month, we're going to be seeing how things are going to unfold. So this is what I said in the month of March. And we got into April. Um, there were no documentaries uh, from BBC or any media outlet. There were no documentaries. There was no, no such thing, you know. So, yes, we can say that it's a failed prophecy. That's the truth. I don't know how I can tell you this. And this is an individual who has been calling people fake and criticizing people and all those things. Well, we can use the Bible, you know. Okay, I'll take it from the NIV. Uh, Matthew chapter 7, verse 5. This is what he says. He says, you hypocrite, first take the plank out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your own brother's eye, you know. And if you look at uh, Matthew 7, verse 2, uh, one to two, it says, do not pick on people, jump on their failures, criticize their faults, unless, of course, you want the same treatment. You, that critical spirit is a way of boomeranging. So, yes. So, you know, people like him who always go out there criticizing people. This thing is a way of boomeranging, you know. The same measure you criticize will be the same measure that people criticize you. The Bible also says that, you know, if any among you says that they have a word and they prophesy and it doesn't come to pass, do not fear them. All right. So there are a lot of, you know, justifications to say some other things that we may feel the need to say. But, you know, just choose the higher ground to say that, you know, these things happen in the prophetic, especially if people are at the infancy of their prophetic, you know, they make a lot of mistakes. And other things which also cause an increase in a lot of mistakes, it's when you dishonor prophetic fathers. Because, you know, you can't cheat what happens in the spirit. What you dishonor, you cannot... um you, you 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 cannot operate in. You understand? He has been dishonoring prophetic fathers. How how do you expect him to prophesy things which will be happening? And I also use this opportunity, you know, to just put out a message across. You know, we really gain nothing by uh, coming up or rising up against our own. Especially, I'm talking to preachers. You know, this thing with uh, documentaries. What really happens? Okay, I'm now telling you what happens that a lot of you may not know or do not know you know when these uh media outlets have a documentary that they want to release what they do is they look for ministers who are so critical of others they know that if they approach them you know they will not you know they will not um they will not refuse to participate they'll reach out to those critical preachers and they will show them like footages from the documentary and they'll ask for they'll ask for some certain feedback from them you know um, what they think about it, you know, whether they should go ahead and all those things. So a lot of these critical preachers are involved in all these documentaries. They're actually involved, you know, gathering people, receiving information, you know, also spewing out some lies to the, to the BBC news or whatever news outlet that is out there. So when they now come out to say that I'm prophesying about this, it's going to happen. They have an, they have some certain level of intel as to what is going to happen to be happening and they make it out to be a prophecy. We saw the same thing happening in the TV Joshua documentary thing, but you know, I will not get into that. It's just my message, especially to preachers. We gain nothing, you know, by fighting our own. We really gain nothing. This thing of trying to be relevant, you know, by fighting other ministers, it's not all right. And for all of you who start, uh, you know, jumping in the comments, you know, and uh, start, you know, uh, abusing me and all that, I speak the truth in love. And these matters are matters that have to be confronted, you know. 
we cannot be you know cherry picking to say that uh you know let him criticize but you, you should not be you know some things that he does should not be pointed out we really have to point it out you know you know and one thing i'm happy about is a lot of these people who we talk about here they listen and they will be changing you know as you can see over there he is starting to change some days ago the lord told me something he said i'm in charge so what he said i'm in charge he said you people are battling among yourself calling yourself fake calling this one's doctrine inaccurate calling this one and it looks as though the church is divided he said i did that so that all of you can grow he doesn't choose sides you may not like this man of god god doesn't choose sides you interesting you hear him right so really thank god that um if it's true if it's not just you know a just a you know a public stunt or anything we, we are just happy that he's actually changing you know we really don't expect you know a 360 where he starts you know going back and attacking people if it is true that he's now growing and he's no longer doing all that we rejoice it is what we really expect from young and upcoming ministers that's how they should conduct themselves when it comes to fathers so expect a video that is coming up next where i'll be talking about apostle aramis encounter at christ embassy where he says that he went to christ embassy and he cried you know a lot of things uh, after he experienced the power of god i'll upload that video later today god bless you